done for. Everyone get out. Hello tanks and tankettes and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Yes, it's been a little while since I did any uh, coverage of this, of at least of my own gameplay. But, unless you've been living under a rock as regards uh, this game is concerned, you'll know that this game now finally has a working replay system. But it's not quite there yet. It's a good start, but there's one or two key things that are missing. Now, one of the reasons why I don't record and play this for the channel very much uh, is well, I've been playing it. I've actually been playing a lot of PvE recently, and that is actually one reason. Um, PvE is not that interesting to watch, I don't think. Now, the main line I've been concentrating on is the Leopards, and I've actually got as far as the Leopard 2 at Tier 7. I'm also doing a bunch of uh, Tier 3s and 4s, and even got the Big Light Panzer that they're at Tier 5, which is quite good. And otherwise, I mostly just play the Premiums, including the Chally 1, which is... Uh, I think I bought a Premium Chally 1, yes. I, I saw that in the, the Wolf Pack collection. And all of, of all of the ones available, I, I looked at that and, walked, and just, you know, thought, yes, please. So, yeah, that's that's been rather good. And actually, the, the replay I'm going to show you is of that. But, yeah, the other reason is a technical one. For some reason, running full screen does not work properly. Now, there's actually an option for both full screen and borderless windowed. And I'm actually doing screen record at the moment, so it will you'll get the full effect of this. I'll, I'll, I'll go with borderless windowed. This is what borderless window does. It also messes up the detection of the hitboxes on the screen. So everything's slightly above where it is. And also, as you can see, yeah, it does this. This is no good when trying to actually uh, record, as you can see. So let's actually uh, change that back to the proper settings. So you might think, okay, borderless window doesn't properly work. Can I actually, oh, for goodness sake. Um, I might, there we go, there we go. So let's try full screen instead. Now this actually occurred in a previous recording and everyone, I was trying to click on something on the screen and everyone was going, oh my god, you're clicking in the wrong place. The place I thought I was clicking in was not the place I was actually ki uh, clicking. And it's this weird UI detection bug. So we've gone from windowed borderless to being full screen. And it, it's the same thing. Look at this. It's exactly the same thing. It's not quite as bad. At least it's filling the screen properly, but it's exactly the same thing. Everything is slightly above where it should be. It's acting as though um, things are in a different place. So it's some kind of weird UI bug, and I have had this for a while. So this is another reason why I've not been recording myself live playing this game. But anyway, on to the replays, because replays are the thing, however. I don't necessarily need to... Uh, replays I can record full screen and the weird UI bug thing just doesn't matter. So the replays thing, it's a little bit easy to miss if you're not uh, knowing where to look. You just click up here in this corner and as it says, they're work in progress. So they are, you know, this is, this is the initial implementation. They are definitely not going to be like this in whatever their final form is. Now, this is the button here. You click to turn it on and off. It's very simple. And as you can see, it actually keeps a list of what replays you have. Now, this is like Wall Thunder. The replays are integrated actually into the client itself. And that presents a slight technical issue for me because it means I can't do what I do with World of, uh, World of Tanks and World of Warships. I can't create a copy of the client every time that the the the, uh, the game updates because I need to actually run the replays through the client. I can't drag and drop the replay files onto the, uh, you know, the proper version of the client for that replay. So this kind of limits the window greatly in which I can record and view stuff. So that's a big limitation as far as I'm concerned. The other one is that, uh, in terms of just the technical stuff and the files, um, the actual replays of the files themselves are rather big. World Tanks and Warships replays are rarely more than, say, two megabytes, around about that. Um, these are anything over, up to and including over 10 meg each. And if I get a lot of um, these sent to me, uh, these AWR files, um, that's going to fill up my inbox awfully quick. So I might even have to maybe set up a separate replay uh, uh, email just for Armored Warfare. It, it kind of depends on how popular this is. I mean, I probably should have prefaced that statement by saying, yes, I am going to accept Armored Warfare replays now, but it's, I don't know, it's not perfect yet. It really isn't. 
So let's actually click on a game and see them in action. And I could maybe even do full screen for this. <laughs> but anyway, never mind. You'll just have to ignore the terribly unprofessional uh, title bar, uh, the uh, program bar at the top there. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I could change the, the setting actually, so it's properly full screen. It's a bit of a mess doing this, but doing it this way with a screen record, but um, hopefully you now understand why I just haven't covered that much of it myself. It's been purely for reasons of I can't record it because the UI is messed up when I'm trying to play live. So yeah, and if I'm trying to record it when I'm not playing live, it would be like this with the, the bar at the top. Anyway, so let's actually just quickly go to... Well, actually, no, I probably shouldn't do full screen for now because um, it's going to mess up where the controls are, isn't it? Uh, yes, I'll click the right thing. So there we go. It's basically... Um, this is the big thing about the replays themselves. And this was somebody that recognised me, as you can see. It is in the third person view. There's no sniper view. And you can actually, by default, also just go into free cap. We just by oh, well, it's derping a bit in the frame rate, but uh, yeah, just by hitting the W A S D keys, that's it. We're immediately in free cam view. It's also possible to turn off the UI if I just left click. It takes me back to the tank. If I press Control. Well, that's not Control. I can hide the controls, and oh, I can also bring up the menu bar, which I didn't want to do. I can by continuing to left click, I can go through everybody's uh, tank, but it's still that third person view, and this is a massive limitation in my eyes. Uh, the fact that you can't, as of yet, see exactly what people are aiming at, see their exact point of view. And I think this is going to limit the popularity of it, at least for now, because it really limits the amount of information you get from the replay. It's hard to tell exactly what people are aiming at, it's hard to tell uh, what their intentions are. It's hard to tell how they are um, thinking at any given moment unless they provide you with a blow-by-blow -blow description in the email, just because you can't see their moves, basically. You can only get this rather sort of zoomed-out third-person view. So, yeah, you're not going to see a lot of these. I'm going to be honest, you can now send them, but you're not going to see a lot of these on the channel because it, it's just a major faff to do at the moment, and it's just... In my eyes, it's lacking a lot of information. So anyway, I can at least get rid of those controls. I'll very quickly show you. You've got obviously your time controls there. You can start, you can pause. You can also uh, track through. Although they don't quite have the uh, the uh, the view that uh, not the view the, the controls that you get with World of Tanks, where you can sort of skip forward, skip back twenty seconds. In fact, I don't think you can actually go backwards at all. So it's more like uh, Warships replays where you can only ever go forward. And again, that's a limitation, actually, because that's an annoying thing in Warships replays. If you miss a moment where you're doing uh, looking for something in particular, um, it, it's, uh, you basically have to close the replay and restart the thing all over again and then fast forward to the moment that you wanted to capture, basically. And I think that's actually going to be exactly the same with Armored Warfare. So again, that's a limitation. So if you have a really stonking game and you've got your replays turned on, then sure, send it. But uh, you'll probably need to give me quite a clear description of what exactly is going on and what you were thinking at various points, if you can you know, remember that kind of information, because it's just really hard to pick up otherwise. And especially for shooting stuff off in the distance, uh, it's very, very hard to see. It's very, very hard to see indeed. Anyway, so this is Red Opossum. Um, well, I'll actually maybe talk about this game itself and the Chally. Um, it's, it's sometimes quite a tough one. It, it kind of depends how coordinated you are as a group in PvE. Um, the, the Chally, though, I mean, it's proved to, be, uh, proved to be a very, very tough machine. Although I was a little over-angled there and I got punished quite hard for it. You really do have to keep your front at the enemy at all times, because that's where all your really good armour is, basically. Look at, look at all those ding marks. So, yeah, I'm nowhere close to having the regular Chally one, but given the price of this, I I mean, I've said I'm a bit skint at the moment, and that's true, but um, this was not an expensive premium, and the pricing of uh, Armored Warfare premiums generally is um, pretty good in comparison to what the sort of equivalent premiums would be in, in World of Tanks. So, um, for the amount I paid for, it, paid for it, this is actually a really good money maker. And uh, even though it's, it's basically a premium version of a regular vehicle, um, 
it's it's well worth having, I think, if you're really liking um, the, the sort of MBT playstyle or whatever, you just want a good money maker. Uh, having a tier 7 premium that, that's this kind of capable and tough and performs this well is uh, it's, it's very nice. And it's also really useful to have another premium MBT, because my only other one is the MBT-70. And premium MBTs are good because um, sometimes in PvE, you never know what kind of a mix you're going to get. You might get like five light vehicles, in, in which case the mission's going to become very, very difficult indeed because nobody has any armor. Nobody can take the hits. And those, unless you get quite lucky, uh, tend to end in failure. Unless everybody's just playing really, really well because nobody can, can take the punishment, basically. So having an MBT that you can jump into, something that you know can take the punishment, is actually really, really useful. And the MBT-70, um, once upon a time that was true, but it, it, it's not that tough. It's definitely not that tough against the AI opponents it can face. So anyway, I'm just taking a right beating here. Um, there is no... Um, I've just noticed there's no on-screen... Uh, I'm going to be completely, again, completely improfe unprofessional, that's the word, unprofessional. Um, it doesn't Looks seem like to have... I hope they don't head for the no, it doesn't actually have the, the hit logs and whatever on, on, on the screen. I, I have that on de uh, by default while I'm playing, but that clearly isn't a feature that's in the replays as of yet. This ended up being a very good damage game, but I can't remember exactly how much it was. It was something like 14 or 15,000 damage. But of course, I don't have the end score screens. And I don't actually think it gives you that information yet with the replays. Uh, you can look on the replay manager and it will give you some information about the match, what tank you were in, how long the match lasted, but it won't, I believe, actually give you a damage count. So, again, a limitation. That's more of a minor limitation, but I should I should probably add there's a caveat then. That if you're going to send me a replay, also send me some screenshots of your score screens, because uh, I'm not going to know what the damage is otherwise. At least for now. I'm sure they will implement those other UI elements where you get the, uh, you know, the, the, the damage log wherever you want it and the, the, the other on-screen elements that you can customise. And that is, a, that is a nice thing about this game is how customisable the UI or bits of the UI are anyway. So as you can see, we're down to the three tanks now. Myself, the regular Chally One and a Stingray who doesn't have a lot of armour. And the Chally One is kind of struggling a bit. He's facing multiple opponents and he seemed to be losing more health than I was. Oh, I was actually, again, this is a thing that's missing. You can't see the ammo count, you can't see the consumables down here, um, but I was um, using on this the new consumable. There is a new PvE consumable uh, to go along with the one that was previously where it gives you back something like, is it like 25% of your health and refills your ammo? There's a more expensive one that you can now mount, which refills 100% of your health and your ammo, if you're still alive, or if you actually die, you can basically use it to respawn your tank. So that's a nice feature for PvE, actually, and I think it's going to increase the survival rate, um, especially of some of the really squashy machines in PvE. Now, like I was saying, the, the mix of tanks in PvE still really matters if you've just all light tanks an AFV is you're still going to struggle even if everybody's using that uh, ability to then respawn um, but if you're in the mix and you get really unlucky uh, with um, you're in like a say you're in your bagel panzer and uh, as sometimes happens in PvE you happen to be on a certain point in the map, and there we go I just use the consumable my health filled all the way back up got all my ammo back um, yeah you are actually um, like you're, you're, you're on a flank somewhere and then a, like two AI bots just randomly spawn next to you and obliterate you. And that's not fun! <laughs> that does happen annoyingly often in things like the Bagel Panzer. Um, especially, and it's especially annoying if you're not a uh, top tier, if you're in a, a, a tier 6 matchup. And uh, that means you can see things like T90s. And having a T90 spawn behind you and hit you for like five, 600 damage which is a big part of your health pool, uh, that's not fun. So the Chally went down anyway, um, it's now myself and that Stingray. And we're just hanging on basically to try and cover the, uh, the, the ship's escape, which it's saying will occur in 10 minutes. I don't think that's, that's correct, I think that's actually a bug. But uh, as they say, this is a work in progress.
It is a work in progress, and it definitely will improve. So there we go. We've killed that Bradley, and it's now, I think, almost over. Um, I don't think there was a lot right, left. And there we go. We go. So the cargo ship got away, and that was the end of the mission. So, yeah, the replays, they are working. But they're working with some fairly major limitations at the moment. So... If you're going to send me a, a game, um, and I imagine it will be mostly PvP games, honestly, I don't think a lot of people want to see PvE. I'm really enjoying playing PvE. I'm in the same position uh, position as Jingles here. Um, I don't play Armored Warfare for the PvP very much. I do very occasionally, but mostly it's the PvE. Uh, but I don't think people want to see that, um, because it's just the same missions over and over again. And that is going to get a bit boring to watch, I think, rather quickly. One of the reasons why stuff like World of Tanks and Warships and whatever, PvP games generally are uh, very watchable if you are into those games, is just the, the variety that arises out of it being, uh, you know, two teams of unpredictable humans. And you don't quite get that with PvE. So, yeah, um, so send me your PvP matches, but say something about them, send them with score screens, and... Um, Make sure they're exciting. Make sure they're, you know, interesting ones. Um, because uh, it's going to have to be something interesting and special to grab my eye at the moment. Um, doing 14k and a Chally one, you know, if it's a really exciting match, then sure. But um, it, it's probably going to be a bit more exciting than PvE than it, uh, PvP than it would be in PvE, for instance. So, um, anyway... So there we go, Armored Warfare. I haven't forgotten it exists. I have actually still been playing it, and um, now we might even see a bit more of it on the channel, depending on you guys and gals. So if you've got any uh, comments or questions, you can leave them below. You can hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, or you know you approve of me doing Armored Warfare content once again. Uh, you can sub to my channel if you aren't already, and as always, stay tuned for more.